Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we'll take a look at 10 actual hidden features of Samsung One UI 7.0 with Android 15. Now I state the word actual hidden because I wanted to do a little bit of research to see if there's anything I was missing with Samsung One UI 7.0. I took a look at a few other videos which I normally don't do and I noticed a few of them were talking about hidden features and I said, hey, this is probably a good place to start because they should be hidden. After watching those two videos, every single feature was already covered in my first couple videos, so technically those were not even hidden. They were just regular features of Samsung One UI 7. So I dug deep. I found 10 hidden features that you probably have never seen with Samsung One UI 7.0 with Android 15, and we're going to cover all of them in this video. So if there's any of these features that you've learned for the first time, make sure you guys give this thing a thumbs up, hit subscribe as I have worked for it, and write a comment below which one was brand new for you. So starting off, it's actually something that you just got done seeing. Feature number one, when you take a look at your notifications panel and your quick settings, they're actually separated, but you might not have known that you're able to swipe left and right to go between the two. Now, originally when I first got, you know, Samsung One UI 7.0, I thought that if I swipe down anywhere, there's my notifications. If I go to my battery on the very top, I swipe down, that gives me my quick settings. And I thought that this was really the only way to get to it was by swiping down from the battery. Come to find out, you're actually able to just swipe down at any of those two locations, swipe left and right, and you're able to access both of them. So how you're able to also do this in the old way, which I've already shown this from before, is you can go inside of your panel settings, and if you don't want them to be separate, you can actually just make them go together. So now that we have them going together, this is what you have in Samsung One UI 6. Pull down once anywhere, you got your quick, uh, or, you know, a couple of quick settings and your notifications. Pull it down one more time, and then your quick settings has been expanded. Now, I've been using it this way for the last few days, but I wanted to go back just to kind of play around with separated to see if I did like it. And this is when I accidentally went into this whole separate thing. And then when I got into this screen here, and then I kind of just swiped away, it moved me over here. That was how this was able to be discovered from switching and swiping between the quick settings and also the notifications page. So that is feature number one. For feature number two, we'll head over into the quick settings panel over here. And I've shown this in the past video where you can move these things left and right, uh, the brightness. You're also able to tap here. You can go to your light mode. Here is your dark mode. This is where you can switch it between your sound off, sound on, or vibrate. You'll also be able to change your volume, which is a very nice addition. One of the things that I noticed was I accidentally pressed and held right here, and it actually takes you over into the expanded settings of sound and effects. So this is where you have your Dolby Atmos and also the equalizer. So right from the quick settings, you can make all of these changes right here. And when you press and hold on really any of these two lines, you can expand your brightness. And then right here, you can expand your audio. And this is where you can switch it if you want to you know, do it to music. And you're able to just do it right through here. You don't have to go through the full entire phone if you're switching it over into just listening to music. You can keep it on auto if you want to. And then once you go inside your equalizer, this is where you can switch from bass boost, balanced, dynamic, and so on. I like the, dy the dynamic option. And you also have your loudness normalization that is just showing up right here. So this is where you can either toggle it on and toggle it off. Everything all accessed from this screen here. And don't forget, you can still go up over here, take a look, take a look at your flashlight, and you can actually change the, the intensity of the flashlight. This is one of those hidden features I showed off years ago. Maybe you've never seen it or you forgot about it. Maybe you just turn on and turn off your flashlight with a little bit of the toggle up over there. But you can make it super bright or dim depending on your situation. But this right here has been a quick little hidden feature for the sound sitting right here, taking you into this quick little settings here for Dolby Atmos and Equalizer. Feature number three, we'll take a look at the side key. And for this one, this is where you can actually set it up to where, you know, if you wanted to open up the camera super quick or really any other application. And there has been a change with the animation when you do a double press and it opens up an application. So as of right now, if I was to do a double press, it's going to open up my, my YouTube music. But let's say that you're already in a different application. So let's say that you're looking at like Twitter. Now what'll happen if I was to double press, it's going to slide over almost as if you're kind of swiping it, you know, on the bottom, going between all these different applications. So again, let's just say that we go right back inside of an application. I was to do this thing, a little double press. It's going to slide over from the right-hand side going to the left. Now, how it used to work in Samsung One UI 6 is that if you were to do a double press, you know, even if you were inside of an application, it would actually swipe up. It'll kind of load in from the bottom and then give you whatever app you had selected. So now it actually slides in from the right-hand side. 
And since we're already inside of music, this will actually lead to feature number four, and that is the always on display. Now, I'm not a huge user of always on display, but I wanted to see if there was any changes with it. And I noticed that for me anyways, if I was to use always on display, I want it to activate when I tap on the screen. So this is where I noticed that brand new feature of the now bar on the very bottom. But if you tap it once, nothing happens. You actually have to do a double tap. So it's kind of just a just in case type thing, or if it's at night, or if it's wherever it may be, you know, if you tap the screen and you're on your always on display, in order to make sure that it actually means that you are trying to interact with this little pill on the bottom, it's going to take a double tap. So double tap for the next song, double tap for the pause over into the play. And then same thing, if you want to go back a, a, a song, you're able to double tap. So when you're on the always on display screen and you're pretty much playing with your little now bar on the bottom, again, for me, mine's activated by touch. Yours could be activated by time. This is where you're able to double tap it and then you're still able to interact with whatever's happening on the very bottom. Feature number five, this is one where it's definitely hidden because it's kind of similar to developer options, but it's called Gallery Labs. This is where you can actually open up the gallery. I go inside of my menu, I head inside of the settings, and then towards the very bottom, I go to that whole About Gallery. This is where I tap on that version like seven or eight times, and it'll unlock Gallery Labs. So I was looking between the Fold 6 and the S24 Ultra, seeing what is new with this. And inside of Gallery Labs, the one that was added and the only one that's been added for Gallery Labs in Samsung One UI 7 is open another window, which means if I wanted to take a look at my gallery and I wanted to open up that picture in a different window, I am now able to. The only thing you have to do is after you turn it on or you turn it off, you have to make sure that you close out of the gallery application. So now that I'm looking at this image, I can go to my three little dots and here is this brand new section. And you can see it's a brand new section. It's highlighted with this little dotted line right here and you go to open another window. So now I actually got it opened up kind of like split screen. So now I can take a look at some pictures right over here and I can also take a look at some pictures over here. So you might be wondering what is one of the benefits of this and that could be, you know, maybe I'm comparing a couple different photos or maybe, you know, cause I want to see which one is better rather than me switching back and forth or I'd be able to just edit this photo right here. And as I'm going through and editing it, I can see what is looking better the before or the after. So if you are someone who likes to edit and you want to compare it versus the previous, this is one of those very nice things that you're able to do. So all I'm going to do from here is I'm going to close out of this because I want to go back in and I want to deactivate this just so I can show you that it's going to now be gone. So we'll go inside of the gallery labs, turn off open in other window. And once you've done that, you close out, go back inside your gallery, it's this pretty much the exact same thing if you were to just turn it on. And now over here, you'll be able to see that that option has now been gone. So pretty much what you unlock the, the gallery labs, you'll have all of those features. The one that's brand new for One UI 7 is opening it up in another window. Feature number six, this is where if you are not a big fan of your screen dimming at 5% left, you're actually now able to turn it off. So all you gotta do is go inside of your settings. And then as you scroll on down, you'll be able to take a look at battery. Then inside of battery, as you scroll on down, you'll be able to take a look at this option here, which is called auto dim screen. Now, originally this was just always turned on. It's one of those things that's just a part of Samsung phones. You get down to 5%, it's going to automatically dim the screen for you to make your battery last a little bit longer. Now, if you're not a big fan of that or notice, you know, you know, you're looking at your battery, you notice it is at 5%, then you're just able to just get this thing plugged in. So it's just one of those little small nuance features that was added in that now you have the ability to either toggle it on or toggle it off. Feature number seven, we'll take a look at notifications. And this is the notifications on your lock screen. There's actually a added option now. If you take a look at notifications and then you go to lock screen notifications, this is what it looks like now. So now you'll have a little dot on the upper left hand side or you can have icons of the exact application. Sometimes it used to give you like a different icon for whatever it is, but now whatever notification is being shown is the actual icon of the said application. And then you also have the option for cards. So sometimes you might remember in One UI 6, if you've got notifications, you'll take a look at your lock screen. You might be looking in the middle because this is where you have like your little notifications, your text messages, emails. So you can have them still as cards, or you can have them as a dot or the little icons. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So here is the now lock screen, and this is what it looks like on Samsung One UI 6. You have your notifications in the middle. Now let's head over into what it looks like if you were to keep it as that little icon, and that's what we had from before. So we're gonna go back inside of the settings, notifications, 
lock screen notifications. I want my little icons. And all you have to do is just train your brain, train the eyes to look on the upper left hand side. It just means that your whole, you know, lock screen right here is going to look so much more clean and your little icon will be up there on the very top left hand side. And I guess one of the things you'd also be able to do if you weren't able to really see this from before is you still can tap on that and it's going to expand it from the very top. Again, your notification sitting there and here's your quick settings sitting there. And now for feature number eight, I wanted to bring in what Samsung One UI 6 looks like versus Samsung One UI 7. And what you'll notice is a newer updated version of Smart Select. So this is, you know, everything jam-packed Galaxy AI. So the icon has changed a little bit. Also, when you were to use this, uh, it's also going to have a glossy background with your options. So let's say that we kind of highlight this whole area here. You can see that there's like a little glossiness right there. There's a, um, a lot of blurring happening in the background. And over here, what will happen is let's say that I do the exact same thing. You can see that it's just like a gray little, you know, bar. So they were able to update this and they also updated the icon. So it's kind of, you know, a couple small little things, uh, but they do make it very simple if you want to create a GIF right there on the very top. Over here, it would probably be expanded in this little three little dots for the option for create GIF. If I actually open this up and it has a larger screen, all of these will all be in this full entire line because it's a larger screen experience. So there actually shouldn't be a little three little dot to expand. It'll actually all be written out on the larger screen. So I kind of like that they just have everything just sitting here. It flows and it looks really good. Now moving over into the lock screen one more time, I want to take a look at these little actions on the bottom. So originally it's probably like camera and flashlight and how you activate them is you just basically swipe them on and off. So that was me turning on and off my flashlight. This is an action over here. This is me switching it from vibrate mode to complete silence mode over into sound mode. So, you know, if you're in meetings, if you're switching between, you know, going here, going there, and instead of you going through all the settings, you can actually just do it from right from here. And normally in Samsung One UI 6, really the only stuff you were able to put on the bottom were applications. So I'm able to just basically press and hold on the lock screen. This is where I'm able to edit the lock screen. And over here, let's say that I tap on this, this is where you can see all of the different actions, which is pretty cool. You can have like no app, your sound, flashlight, airplane mode, mobile data, power saving, dark mode, do not disturb, scan QR, Dolby Atmos, you have your live translate location. And pretty much all of these down here is all the options you had from before. So any of the applications you had on your phone, you could put down over there. And you also had the no, you know, the option for no app and flashlight and camera. And that was pretty much it. So now you actually have all of these ones you're able to put onto the very bottom. And it's also fun to kind of play around. You're able to take a look at your home. You can take a look at your lock screen. You're able to edit all of these things. You can see the animations happening. You can switch out the variations of some of these live wallpapers if you want to. But pretty much I want to show you that on the bottom, you can now have not only just applications or a camera, but now you have all of these different actions. And last but not least, I'm going to show you a small little change with a icon of power saving. It pretty much moved from a little notification over here, which would take up space, and they put it inside of the battery section right over here, which is pretty nice. So if we head over inside of the settings, we're going to scroll down over into battery, and then inside of battery, let's say that we do a power saving, and I want to turn it on. Now what's going to happen is you're going to see that little leaf icon inside of the battery right there. It kind of moves over a little bit, but it doesn't really look like it's taking up too much space because it doesn't have its own little icon over here. It's inside of this one over here, just kind of expanding that small little battery pill on the top right hand side. But yeah, so now instead of the little icon showing up over here, it's now going to show up over here. So that is all 10 of the things that I was able to find that is probably hidden to you that hopefully maybe you have never seen before. So hopefully I have earned myself a like or subscribe from you. And hopefully you'll be able to write the comments in the comment section below of anything that was new to you that you have learned today. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,